buoyancy objective to learn the basics of the phenomenon of buoyancy buoyancy is the upward force exerted by a liquid on an object whose density is less than the liquid in which it is immersed an object's buoyancy is dependent on both its volume which is the amount of space it occupies and its density and its density which is its mass per unit of volume buoyancy acts in the opposite direction of gravity causing objects to become lighter we can demonstrate buoyancy with a simple experiment place an object such as a block of wood in a small aquarium that is filled with water the block will displace water and consequently the water level rises a little bit the greek mathematician and physicist archimedes found that the water will push in an upward direction against the object with a force that is equal to the weight of the water being displaced Going back to our demonstration the weight of the displaced water will be equal to the weight of our wood block However it must be noted that although blocks of wood may be the same size and shape they will not displace the same amount of water in identical wood blocks of oak and pine the oak would be heavier meaning the block is denser and the molecules are more closely packed in relation to that of the pine as a result the oak block will submerge deeper into water and therefore displace more water objects which have a low density and large volume are usually buoyant It is because of this that the huge steel ships you see floating on the ocean are buoyant. There are three types of buoyancy: positive, neutral, and negative. Let's return to our aquarium. This time, experimenting with an empty soda bottle and some pea gravel. First, screw the cap on the empty bottle and leave it in the water. You'll see that the bottle floats horizontally. If the buoyant force on an object is greater than the opposing gravitational pull, the object will be pushed up. This is what's known as positive buoyancy. Objects having positive buoyancy are less dense than water and will float. Now, pour some of the pea gravel into the bottle, filling it about half full, and screw the cap on. When you set the bottle in the aquarium this time it will stand upright suspended in the water In instances like this the weight of the object is equal to the weight of the displaced liquid and the buoyancy type is referred to as being neutral buoyancy Finally let's completely fill the bottle with gravel screw on the cap and return it to the aquarium Now the bottle will sink to the bottom. In this case, the gravitational pull on the bottle is greater than the buoyant force, resulting in the bottle being pulled downward. This is known as negative buoyancy. Objects with negative buoyancy are denser than water and will sink. Buoyancy is not just reliant on the object it also depends on the nature of the water or other liquid Salt water is denser than fresh water giving ships more buoyancy in the ocean than in a river Summary Buoyancy is the upward force exerted by the fluid in which an object is immersed Positive buoyancy causes an object to float at the surface of the liquid. Neutral buoyancy causes an object to float suspended in the liquid, neither at the surface nor at the bottom. Negative buoyancy causes an object to sink to the bottom.